got to communicate better with your filmer, dude. You were all over the place, and he was scrambling to keep up with you. And, um, you know, it's, it seems kind of like a paradox in your life because your grip tape screams, notice me, and yet you can't give basic instruction to the person who is there to notice you. Um, to say nothing of that 5-0 kickflip, which was disgusting, I think you really need to hedge your desire to express yourself with your ability to articulate yourself. You don't want me to talk about Drake? Stop filming Drake lines, dude. Crooked grind into the bank is like him saying, coming off the last record, I'm getting 20 million off the record, just off these records, that's a record. Rhyming record with record four times. Easy trick. Uh, Smith 180, down a flat bar, sitting Gucci row like they say up in UNLV. Young rebel, young money, nothing you can tell me. And then finally your half cap heel, which was the hardest one, was lately I've been feeling like I pierced a memento. I just set the bar. Rappers fall under it like a limbo. It's facile. It's easy. But it's true. You filmed the Tuscan leather line, dude. Okay, here's me skating in either Canada or Alaska or Australia, wherever it is, this park is stupid, and I'm stupid, because I did a back 270 and then a front 270 over the same hip in the same clip, and then a different one in a different clip. And now the person watching wants to kill himself because he never wants to see another 270 over a hip again, because I did it so boring that it's played out forever. I just ruined two probably fun tricks with my boring clip. I'm the guy skating. Oh my god! Stairs at a skate park are the most egregious waste of space and draining of resources that I can possibly imagine. And the place of any stairs could be a bank or a euro gap or a bank to curb. Uh, there's no need to have stairs there and there's absolutely no need to kickflip those stairs. Um, you could kickflip stairs on the street, there are plenty of stairs to kickflip. Skate park should, to some extent, mimic the built environment outside of the skate park, but it shouldn't do so, so closely. Uh, you basically swallowed hook, line, and sinker, and were complicit with the most cynical and unimaginative design that a person could come up with. Uh, you're brainwashed.